If you're a streamer, content creator, gamer, or all of the above, but you're not massively into tech, all you know is whatever goes into the PC just needs to work, then this video should help fill in all of the gaps you need to make the right decisions around which of the new Intel Core Ultra processors is for you, without all the confusing techno babble. Let's dive in. Before we delve into the details though, I want to say a huge thank you to Intel for sending out their Intel Core Ultra 9285K processor, the Z890 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 motherboard, and for sponsoring this video, as well as Corsair for sending out all of the components to future-proof my new streaming and work PC. Now, let's talk groundwork, because before you decide to grab a new CPU, you probably want to know what you're grabbing. That might be a little harder for folks not heavily into the PC building scene, simply because Intel have recently changed their naming conventions for their desktop CPUs. Luckily for us though, Intel has provided a handy infographic that helps explain the structure of the new Core Ultra processors alongside the previous generation, which makes it super easy to compare and gives us the ability to make a translation of sorts between the two. First off, let's look at the previous generation of processors. Here we see the Intel Core i9-4900K processor. The first section denotes Intel, which is the corporate brand. The second, Core, being the product brand. i9 referring to the performance tier. The 14 referring to the 14th generation of this chip. 900, which also refers to the performance tier, where i7 would be 700, i5 would be 500, but in this case, i9 is 900. And then the suffix, which usually denotes what they are designed and optimized for. In this case, K refers to high performance and unlocks for overclocking. Let's take a look at the new naming scheme now, which applies to the Intel 200S series and in theory, future CPUs. Again, you start off with the corporate brand obviously being Intel, but the product brand has now been expanded to Core Ultra, with 9 now being the performance tier, dropping the iconic I prefix. The one here is referring to the generation, as with this new branding of Intel CPUs, they've officially reverted to the first generation. This first began last year when Core Ultra was introduced with mobile products. At the end, we have the H suffix, which again refers to what this processor is optimized and designed for. But now both the generation and the suffix and the interim numbers refer to the SKU as a whole. To help draw a comparison, the CPU that I have, which is the Intel Core Ultra 9285K, is effectively the equivalent of the Intel Core i9-14900K. If we break that down really quickly, that gives us Intel being the brand, Core Ultra being the newest product line, 9 being the highest performance commercially available, 2 referring to the second series, and K referring to the fact that this is a high performance unlocked CPU. To help draw some other comparisons, the Intel Core Ultra 7 is the equivalent of a Core i7, and the Core Ultra 5 is the equivalent of a Core i5. There's some new ones in there and there are some differences in terms of the full set of SKUs, but generally that's a pretty good guideline. But enough about the changes to the names, let's talk about what's actually changed in the CPU and why you should be looking at this new generation of processors for your content creation needs, especially if you haven't benefited from an upgrade in recent years. A lot of the improvements for creators that come with the Intel Core Ultra processors are centered around the fact that these chips not only have a CPU and a GPU, but they also house an NPU. Now, while you might know what those first two are, you may not have heard of an MPU, but basically at its core, an MPU is a specialized processor explicitly designed for executing machine learning algorithms, which is what many brands refer to as AI. Before you panic about having an emotionless disembodied mind hellbent on taking over the world sat inside your PC, in this context, this kind of AI refers to the neural nets that help your PC to handle complex processes and computations and offload them from the CPU itself which in real people terms just means that the MPU can handle things like audio optimization, removing the background from your camera, auto framing, which allows you to move around when streaming, but to always have you centered in the middle of the screen, or without having a negative effect on your streaming or gaming performance. With advanced tools becoming more and more commonplace in the world of content creation, you might be fooled into thinking that these now very approachable features are also very easy to do. But just because they're light on setup, doesn't mean they aren't heavy lifts for your PC. And that's exactly the kind of thing Intel are looking to solve when it comes to this new generation of desktop processors. While still working towards giving you the best possible gaming experience, they're also looking at efficiencies to improve your current experience, and make all the things that you currently do that much easier. While these are still pretty hefty processors, features like the MPU and the ability to be able to provide a similar gaming experience as the previous generation, but with 30% less power usage, really shows their dedication towards making things work smarter and not harder. If you're interested in the new Intel Core Ultra desktop processors and you want to find out more, not just about how this helps you with content creation, but also gaming and work, I've left a link in the description for you to see more. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.